As a doctor, I like to think that I'm really special, but I'm the least important person on the team. Um, the training nurse, by far, is the most important relationship that people have. Um, and, you know, we have a social worker involved, we have dietitians, we have pharmacists involved. Um, and, you know, the patient actually is the, the primary person on the team. The patient's actually the one that does all the work. We're there to support the patient. So not all uh, home dialysis patients will need a a partner to do dialysis with, but I would say the majority of the patients I look after do. It's a very big commitment for that family member to take on. For Ken Wilson is, you know, three, four times a week and the son needs to be with him for the four hour duration of the treatment. Some of them will just support the patient in um, setting up supplies for the dialysis treatment. Some will help do the water filter changing, for example, the machine maintenance once a month, disinfect the machine. You probably will have the partner collecting the blood work. There's, there's several aspects of the job. I was so impressed with Clark when I met him during the training phase. He's a very calm young man. He listens and I would tell him something once and he would remember. Lovely dry sense of humor. Once you actually start doing, you know, doing all these processes and, you know, hooking up the machine, cleaning, you know, when it actually comes to doing it, you think to yourself, you can do it. A few days down the road, a few weeks down the road, it's like, oh, it's, it's getting a lot easier. The other potential fear of home hemodialysis is just a little bit of isolation. The home hemodialysis community is of a size and familiarity that those fears and the isolation is gone because they do realize that there's always somebody available on the phone or can come out or they have somewhere where they can come in to and get reassurance, get a problem solved. <laughs>